Here we are at the end of 2012, and after a year of amazing progress, we're closer than ever to full federal marriage equality. Think about where we were a year ago with Prop 8, with DOMA, with marriage laws from state to state. So much has happened since then. So let's do a quick year in review to get you caught up with all the progress we made in 2012 and where we're going to focus in 2013, including which states are the most likely to make headlines in the coming year. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to a special year-end episode of Marriage News Watch. January 2012. We start the year off with new civil union laws in Delaware and Hawaii. Pro-equality governors waste no time in the new year, with Washington's Christine Gregoire and Maryland's Martin O'Malley introducing marriage legislation. And then a major victory in February. In AFER's case to overturn Prop 8, the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals rules that Prop 8 is unconstitutional. And within days, another federal court rules against the Defense of Marriage Act. In New Jersey, the legislature passes a marriage bill, but it's vetoed by Governor Chris Christie. Governor Gregoire signs Washington's marriage bill into law, but first it must undergo a referendum. March. Dustin Lance Black's play 8 has its Los Angeles premiere with a star-studded cast. Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley signs a marriage bill into law, but it too must face a referendum. The New Hampshire legislature easily rejects a challenge to marriage equality thanks in large part to a supermajority of pro-equality Republicans. And a ninth national survey shows a majority of Americans support the freedom to marry. April. Lambda Legal files a new federal lawsuit against Nevada's marriage ban, and a committee in Colorado passes a civil union bill that's backed by an overwhelming majority of voters. May. President Obama endorses the freedom to marry, the first sitting president to do so. DOMA is ruled unconstitutional by a federal district court in California, and then again by a second court, this time in a unanimous ruling by the First Circuit Court of Appeals, in a case brought by gay and lesbian advocates and defenders. But the good news is tempered by North Carolina passing a law that bans marriage and civil unions. And at the last possible moment, Colorado Republicans kill the popular civil unions bill. June. Lambda Legal and the ACLU file suit to win marriage in Illinois. Another court rules that DOMA is unconstitutional. This time it's a federal district court in New York in another case brought by the ACLU. More surveys show support from a majority of Americans, bringing the total to 13. In July, the Democratic National Committee hints that it may add marriage equality to the official party platform. Multiple DOMA cases get on the fast track to the Supreme Court, skipping the usual appeal process and petitioning directly to the highest court in the land. August. More bad news for DOMA, with a judge in Connecticut issuing a fifth ruling of the year that the anti-gay law violates the Constitution. A court in Hawaii upholds the state's marriage ban. In September, with the election just two months away, the Democratic National Committee finally puts marriage equality in the party platform. As the Supreme Court convenes in October, another DOMA case advances. This time, it's the Second Circuit ruling that the law is unconstitutional, finding in favor of widow Edith Windsor and the ACLU. And then, multiple major victories in the November election. Obama wins re-election after endorsing the freedom to marry. Voters support marriage equality in all four states where it was on the ballot. Tammy Baldwin becomes the first openly gay member of the Senate. We have the largest LGBT congressional caucus in history, but there's still no word from the Supreme Court. December. Lambda Legal appeals a wildly anti-gay ruling in a Nevada marriage case to the Ninth Circuit, which previously found Prop 8 to be unconstitutional. The Supreme Court announces they'll hear two marriage cases, AFER's case against Prop 8 and an ACLU case challenging DOMA. The stage is set for us to win marriage equality at a national level. And by the end of the year, the Play 8 has confirmed 340 readings across the globe. Over 40,000 people have seen the show performed live, and over 800,000 more have watched online. We've always known that telling our stories is one of the most effective ways to show people why the freedom to marry matters. And as 2012 comes to a close, the number of polls showing a majority support the freedom to marry reaches a record high, 21 national surveys. 2012 was an incredible year for marriage, and 2013 is likely to be even busier. In the coming year, we could see legislative fights in Minnesota, Rhode Island, Illinois, and Delaware. The governors of all four states have pledged to sign marriage bills if they can make it through the legislature. Other states primed to make progress are Colorado, New Jersey, and Oregon, but we're also facing an anti-gay constitutional amendment in Indiana. We'll have a special episode focusing on all of those states after the new year. In the meantime, subscribe here on YouTube to get weekly alerts about what's happening and how you can make a difference no matter where you are. And visit us over at AFER.org to pledge your support for the case to overturn Proposition 8 once and for all. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. Thanks for watching. Have a happy new year and let's look forward to an amazing 2013.